And the pass deflected. Shondi Brown picked up by Marcus Thomas. Shot clock at seven. Childress gets to the rim and gets a pair. Foster likes to get their West, this Western Carolina team up and down the floor playing in transition. Can you play that style against Wake Forest, though? Childress, the steal and score. Deacons up 5 no nothing. CC has freshmen leading it in scoring, <laughs> rebounding, and field goal percentage. Three different guys. Barrett, R.J. Barrett for Duke, the leading scorer. Zion Williamson, the... It's hard to believe. I mean, Wake Forest out-rebounded Houston Baptist 47-33 and yet lost the game to the Southland Conference team as Sean D. Brown buries the three. Creating the open look for Steger, but he can't finish. When you have a young team like Wake Forest does, you got to teach them how to finish. And that's one thing that I think Coach Manning, nice drive to the basket, but they're going to have to learn with this very young squad. Open shots, they're one of four from the field with two turnovers so far. Jalen Horde, great position, gets the bounce. Into the game for the first time, out of the timeout, Isaiah Musius is out there as well. Shondi Brown going baseline to the basket. Difference is 15 points. Just over seven minutes gone in this first half. Little high-low feed, Horde. At that point, you just gotta let him go and not give him a three-point play. You don't wanna get where you're in a deficit by 18 points early in the game. And what, what happens a lot of times is too many players, and that's a good look. Terrific play by Halverson off the ball screen. Flip for his career. And this is when people weren't shooting threes that much. Uh, and speaking of threes, how about Halverson? And straight points by the Catamounts. So now they're starting to feel confident. Now they're getting in a groove. Sometimes you play in these big arenas and there's jitters. Jalen Horde up and under off a good feed from Sean D. Brown. Catamounts clearly gaining confidence. Good pass. Lost his dribble, then Thomas found Dotson underneath. Harp on as the year progresses. Catamounts have their first conference game this weekend as Sharon Wright Jr. knocks down the fadeaway jumper. A depleted squad. They had some guys, I believe, go to the NBA or at least and go to the NBA draft. They weren't four expecting. Of them. Right, they weren't expecting a couple of those guys to go. They expected to have them this year. Gibson kicks it. Gosselin. Nice pass to the corner for Cottrell for three. So the, uh, rebounding and even scoring points are like middle of the road when it comes to points per game. Things that they could have improved on from last year. And if you joined us late, Wake Forest had a 21-3 lead. It shows you how important turnovers are. Uh, turnovers lead to more shots for the other team. Offensive rebounds lead to more shots. Up and under, great finish. Shawnee Brown with seven to shoot. Wake trying to close the half with a bucket. Johnson lost it on the drive. Western Carolina for three. Oh. It's good! <laughs> Halverson banked it wow. in the buzzer. His players, Western Carolina, Halverson has been leading them all game long. From the F, he banks the half-court shot. A moment Matt Halverson will certainly never forget. 33-31 at halftime at the Joel Coliseum. Mounts 2-5 and five on the regular season. Got their first win over a Division I opponent this past weekend over Jacksonville. And there's three from the corner for Steger. The country at it as a result. Yeah, those, those teams in 03 and 04 made their money on rebounding. Guys like Vetus Danilus and Eric Williams, Jamal Levy were great rebounders. A good shot off all the way to the basket. Gosselin underneath. Nice move. Oh, the dipsy do. Career highs come in such a demoralizing loss in overtime. Good pass inside. Better block by Saar. At the basket. Feels like there's an echo with you. Right. Your, you're saying another wasted opportunity. Yeah. Dotson Look shook the move. defender Saar and overpowered him to the oh, goal. Man. To get to this point today, where he's battling the tough Demon Deacons on the road. Gosselin kicks it. Thomas takes it. Makes it. Especially once he shot fake. Why aren't you putting more ball pressure on him to prevent him from taking it? You're challenging him and daring him to take the three-point shot. Brandon Childress ties the game at 43 just a few seconds after. And the rebound for Brown. Smart, good position. Well done. 
Second on Smart. I beg your pardon, the third on Smart. And that's a big shot for the Catamounts again. 46-45, Western Carolina in front. Childress, just like last time, the Deacons fell behind on the prowl, taking charge. Go baseline. That's where your insurance policy is. That's where your help site is. Halverson, 90% from the line, just missed the front end. And there's Jalen Horde into double figures. Western Carolina now 10 of 21 from behind the charity strip. That's hideous. Carlos Dotson potentially nine minutes away from a huge marquee win. Shondi Brown comes up with a steal and the finish. Offensive intensity a notch. Will it lead to a stop? Thomas for three. Dotson, another rebound in traffic. And there's another offensive rebound, and it's Steger. Give up, but on the offensive end, they can't slow down. I, I think they would be better off trying to push the basketball off missed shots than trying to dribble it up and play half-court offense. Amounts within two at the half. Western Carolina took the lead, led by as many as two in the second half. Here's Steger from the corner, and that's good from Ono Steger. Dotson. Looking to play point guard. I know. Well, he just he got that rebound there. Good defense. He also made the pass on the last three. There's Gibson's first three of the night. Tubby Smith's been winning games for a long time. There he is. When he won the national title at Kentucky, as Jalen Horde tips it in for two. Western Carolina's big man. Teardrop. Gibson, no. Tip, no. Dotson after another rebound. Yes. His 16th board. Teen fouls between the five of them. Under a minute now. Horde to the basket. And he got it. Doesn't get wow. the roll, but the rebound is there. And how about Isaiah Musius, who wouldn't have been in the game. And the prettiest win of Danny Manning's tenure. But I imagine he'll say something like, a win's a win, and we needed a win. 71-64, <laughs> Deacons over the Catamounts.